Do you remember when you were younger, you had your beliefs? You believed in things such as unicorns, Santa Claus. What if someone came to you and told you, those things never existed? That's exactly what would have happened if you asked them about the defense in fear and hunger. The topic of today's video is exactly what you see in the title, the defense that is a lie, it doesn't work. And I'm gonna give you a clear explanation immediately. So, you see the leather vest, the leather vest gives you 20 defense. Let's see the damage we take against, I don't know, the guard, okay? 32 damage. Alright, let's try with something else, shall we? Okay, let's remove the leather vest, let's keep the stone crown. The stone crown gives you 15 defense, so theoretically we have 5 defense less than before. Let's see the damage. 34 damage. You may argue that's a somewhat correct assumption considering we lost 5 defense, right? Okay, okay, let me, let me show you another example, okay. Let's take the trench coat. The trench coat gives 30 defense, so 10 more defense than the leather vest. Let's see the damage the guard gives to us once again. Uh, sorry, I meant, let's see the damage the guard gives to us once again. Let, let, let's see the damage. Bro, what is this? Let's see the da uh, See, 38! 38 damage! That's more damage than we had when we had 10 less defense with the leather vest. Now, I think you should believe me. So, follow me now because I'm gonna explain to you why is that. See, enemies' attacks don't use a damage formula related to their attack and our defense or something like that. All the enemies' attacks except for one that we are gonna discuss in a second, have a fixed amount of damage with a variance that is usually 20%, so the damage can be the damage of the formula plus 20% or minus 20%. At that point, uh, there is also in consideration the element of the attack, which in this case for the hack is slashing. And then of course if it's an HP damage or a mind damage. Now let's try to take a look at our equipment in RPG Maker, shall we? So, as you can see, the leather vest gives us 92% of the damage, that means we are gonna take 8% less damage on all those elements. And let's look at the trench coat, shall we? The exact same protection from those elements. The defense is not considered in the calculation of the damage, that's why we took that amount of damage. And before, when I tried with the Stone Crown, I was expecting better results because as you can see, the Stone Crown gives you 10% less damage to those elements, so it's arguably better than the Trench Coat and the Leather Vest. But you will never know because the defense stat doesn't tell you that, the defense stat tells you the Trench Coat is the best. So this is how the damage works. And let's go in a little bit more deeper because you may ask, what if I keep multiple pieces of equipment that protect me against one same element? In that case, they are all gonna be multiplied between them. But let's take an example. So, this is Bob. Bob is a white angel. White angel has one attack called single blade that deals piercing damage and usually does 30 damage, of course with the 20% variance. The gaunt plate armor reduces the damage taken from slashing attacks by 50%. So if my calculations are correct, we should take around 15 damage, let's see. And as you can see, we took 13 damage, that's because of the 20% variance as I said, but still, the calculation is correct. Now let's try with all these pieces of equipment, and let's see in the calculation if the damage received is somewhat corrected. And indeed it is. Before I said there is only one attack that follows another damage formula, what attack it is? It is the counter attack from the lizard man. I'm gonna make another video in which I discuss how does this work, but basically the lizard man is able to use counter, that means when you attack a body part it's gonna reflect the damage. And this follows a different formula, the formula is 4 times the attack of the lizard man minus 2 times your defense. Lizard man has 30 attack on all body parts, that means 4 times that attack is 120 and your defense multiplied by 2, if it's at least 60, it's gonna be able to completely reduce the damage to 0 because uh, 120 minus 120 makes 0. So that's the only attack in which defense is relevant, all the other attacks don't use defense. 
You know why I decided to make this video? Because uh, I think out of players don't know the Penance Armor is one of the best armors of the game. Because if you look at it, it doesn't increase defense at all. So if someone that doesn't know about this formula or these multipliers look at it, then what happens is they will think, ah, uh, this seems just a terrible Mimi armor or something. No, this is one of the best armors of the game. But I'm gonna show you all the armors and their multipliers. I'm not gonna show the element of enemies' attacks because there are more than 100 attacks and it will take a lot of time. But maybe in another video, I think I could do that. But for now, see you soon.